Welcome. This is an Innovations Tech Tip. In this tip, we're going to cover how to run a command sequence, such as a pipeline, using sudo, which is sometimes also pronounced sudo. It may be tempting to think of the su in sudo as standing for super user, since especially if you're an Ubuntu user, you normally use sudo to execute things as root. Something that may surprise you, though, is that you can use the dash u option of sudo to specify a user to run the command as. This is assuming that you have the proper privileges. Have a look at the sudo man and info pages for more interesting options. Now, if you've ever tried to use sudo to run a command sequence such as a pipeline where each step required super user privileges, you probably got a permission denied error. This is because sudo only applies to the first command in the sequence and not the others. There are multiple ways to handle this, but there are two that stand out to me. First, you can use sudo to start a shell, such as bash, with root privileges and then give that shell the command string. This can be done using the dash c option of bash. To illustrate how this works, I'll start out using sudo to run cat on a file that I created in the slash root directory that I normally wouldn't have access to. So I'm going to type cat slash root slash example dot txt and I get a permission denied error so I'm going to add sudo on to the beginning of that. It asks me for my password and then the command succeeds and I see the contents of the file. If I try to use sudo with a pipeline to make a compressed backup of the slash root slash example dot txt file, I again get the permission denied error. So if I type sudo cat root example dot txt pipe that to gzip and redirect that to root slash example dot gz I get the permission denied error. Notice that it's the second command or the gzip command in the pipeline that causes the error. That's where our technique of using bash with the dash c option comes in. So we'll take the same command line and put single quotes around it. And then we'll put bash dash c at the beginning of it. And then we'll run sudo ls root example.gz. We can see from the ls command's output that the compressed file creation succeeded. The second method is similar to the first in that we're passing a command string to bash, but we're doing it in a pipeline via sudo. So the first thing I'm going to do, clear the screen here, and I'll do sudo, and I'll uh, remove the file that was created before. Um, and then I'm going to take that command string that we ran before, and I'm going to enclose it in quotes. We don't need the sudo at the beginning here, but we do need an echo because we're going to send this string to sudo. So jump back to the end, and then we're going to pipe that to sudo and have that run bash with root privileges. And then we do sudo ls root example.txt, oh, sorry, gz, and we see that the file was created. Either method works, it's just a matter of personal preference on which one to use. That concludes this tech tip. Have a look at innovationsts.com for other tips, tricks, how-tos, and service offerings available from Innovations Technology Solutions. Thanks, and stay tuned for more quick tips from Innovations.